Hi guys, for today's video, apuntahan natin ang National Museum of Natural History. Kung matatandaan nyo, last video, pinuntahan natin ang National Museum of Fine Arts. Pero bago ang lahat, intro muna tayo. Let's go! Bago pumasok, meron mo ng mga admission steps. Number 1, ID verification. Number 2, registration. Step 3, baggage counter. Kung saan i-deposit mo lahat ng iyong mga dalang pagkain, inumin, bags, umbrella, selfie sticks, tripods, and other prohibited items at the baggage counter. Kabilang sa mga bawal gawin sa loob, ang touching of museum objects, class photography, videography, Wearing of caps, hats, bonnets, smoking, sitting in floor, and disrespectful wacky poses. The Natural History Museum focuses on the biodiversity and ecosystem of the Philippines. The admission is free and the building is fully air-conditioned. Videography is not allowed inside, so pictures na muna ang aking ipapakita. So, located at the center of the building, the Tree of Life. Soaring six stories high, conceptualized by architect and heritage conservation advocate Dominic Galicia, the DNA Tree of Life described as a double helix structure that rises and extends into a distinctive pattern of leaves and branches that provide canopy for the museum's courtyard. In Gallery 1 showcases how the Philippines is home to an immense diversity in number and variety of organisms yet also has the most threat to them because of human activity. It also highlights the Philippines as a mega diverse country consisting of 70% of the world's flora and fauna. On display here are the taxidermied skins of lolong and many nocturnal raptors. In Gallery 2 or the Geology of the Philippines, features igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks that make up the islands of the Philippines. The gallery also has a mini theater where you can appreciate some of the many beautiful rock formations scattered throughout the country and learn how these formations came to be. The gallery also shows some of the natural wonders of the Philippines like Naidi Hills in Batanes, Kapur Puraban Rock Formation in Ilocos Norte, Puman Utik Hills in Mountain Province, Mount Pinatubo Crater Lake in Zambales, Gigantes Island in Iloilo, Il Nido in Palawan, Maria Cristina Falls in Iligan, Kalao Cave in Cagayan, Animasula Island Rock Formation in Masbate, Mayon Volcano in Albay, Kitinday Hills in Albay, Berry Island in Northern Samar, and Chocolate Hills in Bohol, Tinoy and Falls in Surigao del Sur, and Mount Apo in Davao del Sur. The gallery features the different types of natural resources that we utilized in the Philippines like solar energy, hydro or water energy, geothermal energy, and wind energy. It builds awareness on the origin of these resources, how they are obtained and how they contribute to our everyday well-being. One side of the gallery features the mineral resources mined locally 
to manufacture products we have used today. The gallery takes visitors back in the time through the different fossils naturally preserved or remains and traces of an organism discovered from around the country. In this gallery, it is all about the high elevation forests of the Philippines and the wildlife that inhabits these particular types of forests. It showcases the birds, mammals, amphibians, insects, and plants that are found only in the mossy, mountain, and pine forests of the Philippines. Here, you learn about the different kinds of species inhabiting the land through life-size representations of different plants and animals that you can find in the Philippine rainforest. This gallery expounds how the country's unique geological formation shapes the exceptional flora and fauna of the Philippines. It also houses many replicas of ultramafic and limestone karst forests in the country. This gallery features scaled models of famous freshwater wetlands in the country, such as Lake Cebu in South Cotabato, Twin Lakes in Negros Oriental, Ta Lake in Batangas, Seven Lakes in Laguna, Hawaii Lake in Ilocos Norte. Unique species of plants and animals associated to freshwater ecosystems are presented in the form of preserved specimens, videos, photographs, and models. This gallery features diverse marine as well as terrestrial organisms that are commonly found in the vast coastal ecosystems of the Philippines.
In this gallery hall, it provides a closer look at underwater scenes, especially the captivating corals. Gallery number 11 or the marine protected areas in the Philippines, you can see the skeleton of Dogong Calf and the replica of an endangered Philippine parasitic flowering plant or Rafflesia. In gallery number 12 is all about pioneering nationalists in the Philippines, the preservation and analysis of plant and animal specimens. Other famous exhibit includes the Marindoki sperm whale and the skeleton of the Indo-Pacific saltwater crocodile Lolo. Sa first floor, kikita ang mga sample ng meteorites na ipinangalan kung saan ito bumagsak sa Pilipinas. Tulad ng Orconoma meteorites from Orconoma Oriental Mindoro, Bundok meteorites from Bundok Quezon Province, at Pantar Meteorite from Pantar Lano del Norte. Sa first floor din makikita ang mga sample ng petrified wood o yung mga kahoy na naging bato mula sa Gutwako Fossil Collection. <music> 